Hello and welcome to this tournament diary. Evidently, I did not film what I usually film for an intro for these tournament diaries. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm Scott Kawa and this is my tournament diary. California Delta, FLW, September 2018. See how I do. Alright guys, I got everything packed in my car. Got everything I think I'll need. Luckily for me, when I get ready to go, I keep all my fishing stuff in the car all the time anyway. So that part's not that bad. I just had to put all my batteries, my battery chargers, my phone, I had to, you know, all my clothing, all that stuff. But I got everything packed. And now, I'm heading to the Delta. So next time I see you, I should be at the Delta. Three, Three hours, hours later. later. And here I am at the Delta, guys. Right there. You can see the trailer back there. I just had to go register. I left at 2.30. It usually takes about two, a little over two hours to get here. I made it here at 5.40. I must have hit every single traffic jam on every single freeway. But I made it. It's 100 degrees here. I don't know who it was. I think it was Bearded Bass and told me, oh, by the time you get there, it'll be cold. Nope, 100 degrees. I so I had to rush over there. I registered. I'm in. Now I'm back here at the car. Sit down for a little bit. And then we got the team meeting and the partnering. And, well, I'll update you guys along the way. Okay, guys, the meeting's starting. I don't know if you can hear Ron, but he's on the speaker right now. But uh, I'm gonna have to go there because I realize I signed in, but I didn't sign the release forms. And they were just saying anybody so and so that didn't sign the release form. I'm like, oh shoot! I paid it and went back to the car. I didn't sign the release form, so I better go back over there and check in with them. Change is a great time to be part of the sport. You know, uh, uh, I applaud uh, all our other competition for doing what they yeah. paid out more money. It's the meeting. Us, it's the usual uh, thing. Years. We've got going some over all the sponsors, going over will be sent tomorrow. all the rules, so all that stuff. But it's mandatory. We have to be here. Because this is when we get our partners. We're still going through the drill, guys. We're still going through the drill. They say it's going to be different, but it's the same thing every time. We're going over the rules, going over the sponsors, all of us. But we have to be here. Still waiting, guys. This meeting lasts about 30 minutes. All right, guys. Meeting's over, obviously. The meeting's over and everybody left. Uh, I'm with Shane Mizell. My buddy Joe Reba Jr. said he knows him, said he was having engine trouble, uh, so I don't know. I got his number, I'm gonna have to call him and uh, see what's up. Not a good start to my first time back to the Delta in two years. Hey guys, I'm back here in my hotel room. Not the usual hotel I stay at when I'm up here at the Delta. I usually stay at the Ramada. Evidently it's closed, they're remodeling it. So I had to find this place. And well, later on I will show you around. But right now, I'm getting ready for day one. It's not the fall thing yet, guys. It was 102 today. It's been no wind for days. So I went all finesse. I got the Ned rig. I got the flipping stick with the quarter ounce with the bobblehead. I got the quarter ounce flipping jig on. And at the end, I got a drop shot. I have all the rest of the stuff over there in my bag. I have the activates, the service baits, the crank baits, all that stuff. I saw the water. It looks really clear. It says it's not the fall thing yet. Fall doesn't happen until it starts cooling, until the water starts cooling off. Here in California, we have Indian summers. So I'm going with this. I'm going finesse. I'm going like way finesse. Don't know what my pro's doing. I talked to him. He just said, hey, I'll meet you there at such and such. I don't know what he's fishing. I don't know what his game plan is. He was having engine troubles, so I don't know how much he was able to explore or whatever. But he said he got it fixed, we're good to go. So I'm going to meet him in the morning, and we're going to start day one of the FLW Costa here at the Delta. <laughs> okay guys, it is bright and early Thursday morning. Probably the earliest I've gotten up in, well since May at the last tournament. I'm really a morning guy. 
I got everything in the car. I just need to uh, wake up. Yeah, I need to wake up. My eyes are like probably all bloodshot. I sound all raspy. I will update you when I get to Russo's Marine. All right, guys, I made it here to the launch. Got to get all my stuff right there. Out of the trunk, go over to the dock, find my partner. All right, guys, I made it down here to the dock. Everybody's here over there. They're going to the boat check. I haven't seen my guy. I'm, I'm waiting for him. He told me to be here like 6, 6, 6, 6 15 at the dock. I've been at the dock. I haven't seen him. He's already been through boat check. So I'm just going to uh, sit here and wait. Can't go anywhere without me. All right, guys, found my partner. He's right there. <laughs> What's up guys? <laughs> and we're we're literally in the Delta right now. <laughs> we're out here, everybody's waiting. We still got like 15 minutes. We're boat 81 out of 107, so we got a while even after everybody starts moving out. See you in a bit. Alright, we already have half the field gone. We said we're 81 out of 107. We're on boat like 61 now? 65, 66. 65, 66. Somebody's out there. Making their way to the uh, little channel to get out of Russo's. Boat 69. We got 11 boats before us. All right, guys, this should be a fun one. It's update time, guys. I got myself a limit already. Two that'll that barely go 12 inches. One good one and two, well, ones are at least like 13 inch. But we're in the spot. We're not pounding shore. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Water's crystal clear. I've never seen it like this. It's what is this like 10 foot visibility? 12? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can probably put the camera down. Yeah. You guys could actually see that. <laughs> oh, we got a good fish, I think. Good fish. No? Well, I'll get it on film. <laughs> We're finding a lot of those too, but he had a he had a hog earlier, so we know they're out here. And we got like five, six more hours? Five more hours? Something like that. We're gonna get them. I'm gonna put the hat cam on soon and uh, get some of the action. There's no wind and it's already probably what, 85? Yeah. <laughs> gonna be about 100 degrees out here by the end of it. Oh. That sounded like a hell of a line thing for a little fish, didn't it? <laughs> oh no! Look at he did. He threw my worm. It's sinking down. It's too far down now. Damn it. Well, there's a cool, there's, there's a cool B-roll shot. Probably because he sees us catching fish. <laughs> I don't even think this one's any bigger than the ones I have. Oh, get out of the, really? Fuck it. Get out of there. Not even a keeper, that's good. Nice one. Little. Swimming with me. She was swimming with me forever. He had the thing down his freaking throat. Oh, small one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hey, look at that. I just dropped it down, a fish came up. <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, <laughs> some action. I like it. You can see him down there, guys. Look at that. <laughs> and there's another fish following him. Look at this. There's another little bass chasing him around. <laughs> that is funny. This one might be bigger than one of the ones I have in there. And I'm sitting there playing around with him. <laughs> yeah, he's way short. He looked exactly the same size as that other one. The other one actually made it. Ooh, baby. <laughs> that little guy just hit this thing right there. Got a little fish on it. <laughs> Dude, they're loving this color, I think. They're McDonalding this color. They're McDonalding it. They're loving it. It's my new term, guys. They're McDonalding it. Good one. Checks the tide and catches a fish. It's a bling worm. And it's a fish. <laughs> How's that, guys? It's a little guy, but still. 
I'm like, let me try a new color. <laughs> This guy, he's actually probably. Oh well. Oh well. Whoa. Fish. <laughs> Guys, every time he sits down to do something else, it's a good one, or is it in the weeds? Do you want that? Great, man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that's a that's that's a better one. Basically, oh Jesus, is that a fish? Gonna do what we can. Oh. I don't know what that was. It was a fish. Fish freaking took me into the weeds. That is a lot of freaking cormorants, guys. <laughs> Jesus. Fish eating machines right there. Good one? Yeah, it's a better one. Net. Oh, yeah. Yeah, grab him out. Thank you, sir. That's Woo! definitely a better one. Right down right here. That's fine. Thank you. Moving on up. Moving on up. We're the Jeffersons now, baby. <laughs> Moving on up. We got Wheezy in the boat now. <laughs> Number five is the biggest. Was like oh, that it. your fifth already too? Yeah. Good one. Little putts. Little putts. It's probably bigger than one of the ones I have in live load. Mine. <laughs> hey, I hadn't had a bite in a while. <laughs> Oh, he threw my worm, you bastard. Oh! <laughs> Did you guys see that? I flipped him up, he nailed me in the balls, then hit the deck and went back in the water. And he stuck the hook in me. And he wasn't even a keeper. <laughs> Come on. You got him? Yeah. Big one? I don't know. Nah, I got him. He might be bigger than my one, but I got him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shit. Good one. No. Oh yeah, dude. He's freaking 13 inches. The other one. This one. This one. Right this there. One. That one. Okay. okay, so you call that one right there. A few ounces here, a few ounces there. Good or not? No. No. <laughs> I retract that statement. <laughs> Stinker. Seriously, I throw it right on top of that thing. I did. Oh, it's a fish. <laughs> Dude, I'm fighting in a fish. I didn't even know I had it. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Who won? I think we're tied. Oh, Jesus. Oh, he came back. Really? What did you say about them getting more aggressive? <laughs> I hooked him, he got off, and then I re started reeling him, and he hooked it, he caught it again. Totally yellow. Getting smaller, what happened? Ooh, this one might be good. This one might help me. Unless he's caught in a bunch of weeds, or he gets in the weeds that he's headed towards. Get out of there. Nope. No. I don't think so. I already have one. No, he don't even. He's about. No, he was in weeds this way. Good? 
Nope. <laughs> oh. We doubled. <laughs> This one might... No. He's actually a keeper, I bet. He's not bigger than the other ones. I know. I'm doing it for the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Back-to-back -back cats? Got him. He's way out there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that one might have been bigger than one, the little one I have. Jesus. The fish was as big as a worm. Oh, that's a freaking. <laughs> this one might help. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> don't injure my fish. Good one? Net? Huh? Think he'll help? Yeah. It's bigger. Check on him. He'll be the first one to go. Let's see. Okie dokie. That's it, dude. Like this one? He's in the weeds. It feels like he's on line. Oh, he buried himself in there. He's coming. <laughs> Is that definition of in the weeds? What's he look like? I haven't even seen him. Oh, there is a mouth in there. He's actually a keeper. He's only... He's like my first one. He's like his tail's like eighth of an inch past it. Guys, I'm in a tournament and I'm throwing back keepers. <laughs> Good one. No. He was in the weeds. I pulled him out. Jesus, I know. Same thing mine did to me. See, even even the people in the front of the boat get fooled by the weeds, guys. It's not just me. I don't want any comments about that. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> you got one, huh? <laughs> Little one. First cast with a jig. Look at that. <laughs> That's a good small jig fish there, guys. He was all over that thing, though. <laughs> Switch up worked. How's that, baby? <laughs> nice. Is that a good one? No. But I totally switched it up. I switched to a swim bait on it. A little rib mano on the drop shot. You get him? Little one. Uh, hmm. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> First cast with it. Really? Freaking through it. You finally got your spunk, huh? Finally got your spunk? Stop the water skiing? I do like the purple. Don't shake it, you bastard. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but 
definite sore mouth now, buddy. He just wanted to come up through that weed. That was funny. <laughs> Okay, caught fish all day. Right? We yeah, both have limits. Not, not too big. <laughs> Never, dude. What? Never. So you got your shit ready? I'm gonna get my buddy and just go on. They get the fish though, right? Yeah. How's it going? Good. All right, I'm just unloading a bunch of stuff. Go ahead and go get bags, will you? Yeah, that's what I was then saying. Then I'll meet you up there, right up here, when we pull out, okay? Yeah, waiting for. This is for bags. Jeez. <laughs> you sh should have got out your big ones. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Solid. Awesome. <laughs> Still don't know where he went. I think yours is going through your tackle box looking for He's holding my fish hostage. I don't know what the fuck he's doing though. He's mad at me. I told you he's going through your tackle box. He probably is. Uh -huh. Hey dude. I was gonna say give me your address. The bat. Oops. Watch the bat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> So I'll put you right in no, I yeah. See what he's got. Thank you. Another one of the two children in our school. Told you top 10. I mean Ranger top 20 with 10 pounds. He just got 17 with 10 pounds. Good job today. He's got a five in the way. Jane, thank you so much. Appreciate you being here, buddy. Five bass today in the way. Eight pounds, 14 ounces. Three. Shane, eight, or five. I'm sorry. Eight, sir. <laughs> five. He always does that to me. Scott Cowell, okay. Marina, California. Five bass in his bag today. He's got some right there, buddy. Thank you, sir. Five bass today in way. Nine pounds, three ounces, 27th place. Thank you. Didn't do that bad this time. <laughs> it was nine, nine pounds, three ounces. Yeah. All right, almost. Hey, what, what place? Twenty-seven. All right, hold on, everybody. Good. Hope we make it up the hill with all these fish. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. All right, guys, I'm back in my hotel room. I totally, completely forgot to film this part when I was at the tournament after the weigh-in and that, but. Um, I weighed 9.3. At that time, I was in 27th place. I haven't even checked standings. I'm in check range, guys. I think I'm... Somebody that has 10-something was in uh, 30th by after everybody waiting because there was like 20 other people that waited in after me. And, well, I really want to say something about my pro I had because I had an incident with him. Totally just pissed in my Wheaties. Threw me off my whole game after having a good day. And weighing and being in check range so I was a little bit distracted I just didn't even think about filming this part so I'm here like I said right here in my hotel room doing this I, I pretty much have everything set up tomorrow is supposed to be a lot more wind so I might have to switch to some sort of activate I mean I have the ones that I want to fish I just didn't fish them today because it was all about the finesse I'm in good position guys I have tomorrow if I can match this nine pounds or maybe get 10 or 12 pounds. I'll be cutting a check. All right, update you in the morning. All right guys, day two. Just made it here, got my trunk open, I'm ready to go meet my pro, and well, start this day two. See if I can actually do good enough to cut myself a check. I'll update you when it gets light out and I'm in the boat with my pro. All right, we're hurrying up and waiting right now. I found my partner, he's over morning. there. And, uh, yep, to get here early, park in the weeds, and wait for about 50 minutes before we launch. A little bit windier today, so I don't know. <laughs> you say it's supposed to be like 15 miles an hour today? 15 miles an hour. Yeah, that's why they come here. Compared to yesterday where there was nothing until 2 p.m. See how it goes. 
Update you along the way and uh, I'll be putting on the hat cam uh, eventually once I wake up. All right, guys, been out in the water for about three hours. A pro's got a good limit. He's got one little one and he got one good one. And uh, I, don't know, I can't get a bite. We're howling, it's howling wind, but we're doing some docks, so we're kind of out of the wind. Tide's going out, right? That's out. Yeah, tide's going out and it's like lots of current. I mean, it's just hauling through here. Yeah, I'll put it down and look. You can see all that stuff going by. How fast it's moving. We're not moving. And uh, we're, on a, we're on a swan pattern, but there's actually only one swan here. So he pulled six fish off that swan. And we looked around, and there's no more swans. So we have to wait for him to regroup on the swan, I guess. But uh, day's not over. Keep grinding. All right, guys, been a couple hours later. I still don't have a bite. He's upgraded some. We move locations. So maybe here I can get my uh, mojo going. We'll see. All right, guys, reflection from the boat is on the pontoon. Sorry, that's the most interesting thing I got today. That's about it. Just want to show you that clock, guys. Wayne's 315. It's 2.30. She had a fish hook that jumped into it. That was a keeper. And that's been it for me the whole day. So we've got about 30 more minutes, or it's going to be my first goose egg ever. It's my eight years of doing the FLW. How's it going? Oh, well. I'm fishing something that I never usually fish. I'll update you more about it. But I've tried everything. My first blank in eight years. So I figured my streak was going to end eventually. It's been closed before. But it's the first time it actually happened. So we go back, and I don't even have to go through the weighing or anything. So there won't be any footage of the weighing or me walking through it this time. Don't walk through with no fish. Oh, uh, maybe I'll put the hat cam on. And I got to walk up there because I got to sign in. We got to sign in together. And then I go away. Go curl up in the ball and cry for hours saying, why, why, why? Alright, Officially means it's go time. Like he's in the driver's seat and he's starting to engine. Five minutes, but we're like 30 seconds away. Update you about tournament at the end. Alright, guys, I'm back here and he. I spend all this money on hotels, right? It's one of my fellow co anglers, and I think this is the way to do it. Yeah, he just he comes here, puts up his little tent, and he just stays here for the three days. How much is it? 30 bucks. 30 bucks a night. I'm I am spent 120 a night. Oh, well, yeah, there is that, but I don't care about that. That's what I need to do, guys. I, I need to get myself a little tent. I just come up here, and, and then I can do like a cool camping thing. A camping fish tournament. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video in a bit and kind of tell you where I ended up and everything. But I just want to show that. That's what I need to do. I had 10 at one time and I got rid of it. Sorry about all the kids. Kids, I'm doing a video here. Come on. All right, guys, I'll update you about the ending of this in a little bit. All right, guys, that's actually going to do it for this tournament diary. It's the way tournaments work, guys, especially when you're calling. You can have a great first day and then suddenly the next day ends up happening like it happened today. I only got like two bites in the whole eight hours of the turn. But it's just a matter of who you draw, what they're doing. He was in a position, it was almost like sight fishing, he had the boat. He was sitting there for like 30 minutes, flipping into the same dock. And then when he moved, all I could do was flip into the same dock he had just picked apart. Sorry guys, my camera went out, the battery went dead. Ron, the tournament director, offered to buy me food, so I've been eating. So this is gonna be a little bit darker than the last one. That's it for the tournament. I ended up 88th, which last year, even when I weighed fish both days, I ended up 104th. So even well, only weighing fish one day, I did better than last year when I weighed fish both days. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you join us for all of our Center Coast Bass fishing shows and our tips and tricks and all that stuff in our lives. And hopefully you join us whenever I, I do the next tournament diary. You set up. <laughs> 17, Daniel Lou, 576. 16th, Aaron Agner, 576. 15th, Robert Baloney, 620. 14th, Merle Noons, 620. 13th, Stephen Latino, 620. 12th, William Finrod, 620. 11th place, Josh Unruh, 620. We need four more boats for the college fishing. See, you get up there close, you get 
pretty much your money back you spent to get here.